Hey everybody, this is Paulie G here, and I want to show you guys how to make a monster like Martin Ford into the Hulk. So I was just in Photoshop playing around and real quickly was able to make Martin Ford look like this from this. Now I'm sure Martin is going to be really happy about this because I think that's what he's going for. Martin is a true life Hulk. This guy's huge. He's six foot eight and he's able to pack tremendous amounts of muscle on a huge frame. A frame that usually, and this is quite usually, so this is astronomically different, that a guy this tall can pack on this much muscle. He's like a Shaquille O'Neal, but just look at him. All right, so let's get on with the program here. I'm in an old Adobe Photoshop, so I'm on an old junky computer here. Sorry about that. But this is where I am right now. And we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this in less than five minutes. This is gonna be simple. Okay? Let's go over here and grab the quick selection tool. And let's just mess. Let's get Martin's head. All right, this is like a dark image, so it might be a little rough around the edges, but we're gonna get it nice and crisp. We're gonna make it look nice. Just like we did in the last image. We're gonna see how close we can get it. Okay, so there we go. The arm right there, you can see, kind of went off, but we'll fix that in a minute. All right, look at this guy, look at this guy. This is, this guy's huge. One of the biggest, biggest dudes on the earth walking this planet. All right, we can't forget his ears. He won't look right with any ears. Maybe he'll look cooler, actually. All right, we got his ears. Right, look, 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 look at the size of this guy. This guy's a, a freak of nature. So pick, going to pick a Hulk, I, I can't imagine a guy much better to pick to be a Hulk than Martin Ford. By the way, since we're looking at Martin Ford, I think I don't think this guy even has a Twitter. I could be wrong, but he has an Instagram. I would definitely get on his Instagram. Go look for him because he's uploading new pictures all the time. Okay. Now, first what I did was I just turned them all green. And then it looked a little bad, but then I went in and messed, changed the shirt. So let's go here to, where do we go? Oh, select, um, forget where we go. Modify? No. Oh, adjustments. Okay, so we go to adjustments, and then let's go to color balance, right? Do we have color balance here? Yeah, we do. Color balance, and let's mess with it. Let's see what we do here. So, I think I turned them all green and like that. That was the original. But then his shirt looks ridiculous. So that's what we got. And then we gotta come back and deselect all this. So he looks cool, right? But he doesn't look like that. So real quickly again, oh, dude, cancel that. I don't wanna delete it. All right, so real quickly, we're gonna go back and we're gonna come in here and we're gonna select everything, right? So this is, this is easy. This is so easy to do. So you can make anyone look like the Hulk. Or you could turn anyone green. It's very simple. And I didn't even do a duplicate layer here. I'm just selecting within the same layer. Kind of the way I like to do it. And just make sure we get the top of his shirt here. This tattoo. Just messing things up a little bit. But that's the way it goes, right? So let's get up here to the top of the shirt. Let's not be sloppy though. Take our time. Just right once. So, that must be his hand, right? And then this is definitely a shirt. So let's get that. Okay. Then we're just gonna zoom out, take a second look at it. See if we like what we got. Maybe fix it right there. Okay. Kinda like it. I uh, don't like it up here, it's not so nice. 
So fix that up. Got that fixed up. Okay, and pretty nice. But since we're in this close, we might as well get a little nicer. And then let's, okay. And I guarantee you that you've seen the making of this, but this is gonna be on Martin Ford's Instagram. I guarantee you that. If, if it's never on it, and you heard this video, come shoot me up. I'll definitely, definitely apologize. And you can call me a liar at that point. That'll be fine. Okay, so what do you think here? You can let me know in the comments. Do you think it looks pretty good? Should we turn this blue? Are we ready? Yeah, I think so. We're getting to the point where I'm just kind of messing it up even more. It's perfect already. Okay. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna come back here and go to adjustments and then go to color balance. Okay, and we'll make that blue. I think like that was the way it was. Yeah. Okay. So let's just deselect. And now there's two hulks. Two incredible, two incredible hulks. And that was just so easy to do, right? That's, that's the power of Photoshop. So it doesn't take much to do awesome, awesome things. And that's why I'm a member of the Adobe Creative Cloud and they're always updating everything. Everything's always getting better. These are just the basics that you need to know. Things like this in order to do really powerful and awesome things, but it's so simple. And if you're a member of Adobe, you'll get so many tools and you'll be able to put all this together and you'll be able to create awesome things. So if you need to talk to me, you can hit me up on Twitter, on Instagram. I like Twitter better. So if you wanna find me, I'll be on Twitter or on YouTube. YouTube is my main passion. So if you wanna check me out, check out Paul Lee G on YouTube, hashtag Paul Lee G, and you can check out all my videos. They're all here on YouTube and on Twitter. So hope you guys like the Martin Ford Hulk. And they look, they look pretty similar. That's the last thing I wanna say. I don't, I don't really see, I don't know if you can, but I don't really see any big defects in between the two. I mean, they look, they look pretty similar, the same blue, you know? So you can see that in, in a few simple steps, you know, maybe down here is the only part where I can see a little bit of difference to my eye because I remember doing it, but so similar, so simple, and so beautiful and so easy to do. Adobe is the best.